morning. Last night was probably the best I've slept in a really long time. I laid down with my hands behind my head and I woke up with my hands behind my head. I toss and turn a lot, so the fact that I stayed in that exact same position is a testament to just how good of a night's sleep it was. So I woke up this morning at around six, I made myself some coffee, I went out on the porch and did some light reading, and now I'm thinking I might whip us up some breakfast and maybe use some leftover hot dogs and some of our mushroom and onions from yesterday and whip it up into some omelet of sorts. Sent spinach and ricotta pastries we found at Walmart. I think they were just a few days old, so they were really cheap. Make for a great breakfast croissant. All right, Ruthie. What day is it today? It's day eight of our mystery road trip. This morning we woke up in a World War II train car. And if you haven't seen that video yet, you Whoa. should definitely check that out. It was awesome, and I had the best sleep of my night life. Let's see what's on the agenda for today. I think it's gonna be a pretty chill one. This is your last leg of the adventure. You are headed to Nashville. Whoa! Neat. I've never been to Nashville before, so this will be cool to get to explore it a bit. So now breakfast is over and all we have to do is write in the guest book and clean up our mess so that it was like we were never here. Well, unfortunately our time here has come to a close a little bit sooner than we would have liked. But we had so much fun and so we want to thank the Smiths for letting us hang out with their doggies and for the wonderful tour and for one of the most unique Airbnb stays I've ever had. But the adventure does not stop here because for the next part of our road trip, we are headed to, to Nashville. Nashville. And we're taking the puppies with us. Oh. All right, bye bye puppies. They're here to see us off. I know. Sweet, Will you guys see us at the gate? <laughs> Hours later. We've made it to Nashville and first thing on the list is to head to a coffee shop to do some game planning for the next 24 hours. And stretching out because yes. it's been a long drive. It has been a long drive. Our Airbnb host <sighs> gave us like a really long list of things that we might want to check out so we're going to go through those and Plan game out plan. what we should do. It's a bit of a rainy day in Nashville and it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so hopefully, you we'll know. We'll probably do some strolling, but if we need to duck into buildings and restaurants and cafes, we've got a full list of recommendations. And we're just gonna see what Nashville has to offer. Yeah, excited to see the home of country music. <laughs> Yeehaw! We ended up at Falcon Coffee Bar, which is a trendy vegan hotspot just south of downtown Nashville. It's a falcon. It's 
cute. Oh, it is cute. There were a lot of vibes going on inside. It kind of felt like a mix between a nightclub and an influencer's boho beach house. I ordered a lavender latte with coconut milk and Thomas got a watermelon lime kombucha. There you go. Thank you. When we sat down, we were next to these two young entrepreneurs that sounded like they were trying to be the next Steve Jobs. They spent most of the time on the phone frantically shouting out words like integration, synergy, optimization, more business words. It was kind of hard not to laugh, but it did make for an entertaining afternoon. We are done with our editing for the evening and we are gonna go find our Airbnb now, which we think is in downtown Nashville, so hopefully within walking distance of some epic things to do. We're gonna go freshen up, I have to pee, and then we're gonna explore the downtown area tonight. Hopefully find some good Nashville food, some hometown southern soul food. We are so hungry. <laughs> We've arrived at our Airbnb. We thought it was going to be downtown. I thought it was going to be downtown. I made a mistake and didn't know exactly where it was geographically. But that's okay because we're going to be here for two days and we're still going to love the downtown area when we get to visit it. So let's go see what's inside. Here we are. Time for a house tour. All right. One of the first things that you notice when you walk into this house is Nashville. An incredible amount of music posters and Americana that just scream country music capital of the world. And you've got a record player here, which comes fully stocked with records, which we're excited about. You've got Fleetwood Mac, Bowie, ACDC, Queen. And over here, we've got this lovely honor bar with this vintage fridge. How cool is that? It's stocked with white claws, soda, sparkling water. And then over here, there's a TV with a Roku. You've got Netflix, Amazon. They have left a lovely sign, a welcome sign for us, which is very sweet. And then right through the hall is our bedroom, which comes stocked with a toaster oven, a microwave, a hot plate, and what we're probably most excited about, a coffee machine. They've also provided us with some lovely robes, which we're looking forward to using later tonight, and a book on the 100 things to do in Nashville before you die. Before you die. And then right down the hall, we've got our bathroom, which has a full shower, toilet, sink, anything you need, but it comes with this lovely dog Elvis painting. We are all showered, we're all cleaned up, and we decided to go see a movie. <laughs> Hopefully. We haven't ordered tickets yet. We don't know what it's like with COVID, but it looks like there's a showing of Raya the whatever. Raya and the Last Ride. Yeah, the new Disney movie that's out. Um, it looks like there's one at 7.55, so we got half an hour to get there, and hopefully we'll get some tickets. We made it just in time, and there were still two seats available, but unfortunately, since it's a theater, we weren't able to film inside. We just got out of the movie. So good, so fun. Lots of strong, powerful <laughs> Asian women. So I really enjoyed that. And that the was music fantastic. was good, the costuming, everything was good. Highly recommend going to see it. So now we're gonna drive downtown and try to check out Broadway Street. I think I'm saying that right. I think it's just Broadway Street. Uh, we've heard that it's the place to be on a Friday night in Nashville, but we don't really know what to expect. A lot of places seem to be closed down or aren't offering indoor dining or various things. So we're not sure if anything will be open. Maybe we'll go for a stroll, um, but we're gonna go check it out. So uh, we'll see you down there. Well guys, Nashville We're is here. alive and well. <laughs> I thought, you know, it's COVID, it'll probably be pretty quiet down here. There are tons of people out tonight. Just lines of people crowded on the sides of the street. I'm not seeing many masks either. Already drunk. Already drunk. Already drunk. 
big, <laughs> big sign saying mask up y'all, mask up. It's wow. exciting, we're gonna it get is. some cool shots and see some cool things and... Maybe if we can find a place to park, we'll stroll. Otherwise, we'll just drive because it's... Yeah, I'm like scared to get out of the car. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna encounter. <laughs> It is loud out here. It is packed. There are thousands of people oh, down here. Thousands upon thousands. Thousands. It looks like COVID doesn't exist. It looks like a normal Friday night in downtown Nashville. <laughs> Granted, I've never been here any other time, but it seems like a I lot of people. I can't imagine it being any more packed than it is. Yeah. I mean, we're traffic is pretty much at a standstill, and they're they're just hordes of people crowding the streets. There's live music in every single place. People lined up, like probably 50 people to 100 people in every line outside of every building. We've probably gone about three blocks in 20 minutes. Yeah. The yeah. traffic is slow, but it's perfect because we get no, to really we get to stroll take and it all see. in. Well, that concludes day one of our Nashville adventure. We saw some pretty cool sights. Oh yeah. And I think we're gonna check those out a little bit more in detail tomorrow during the day. And it's also pretty exciting because tomorrow is my 27th birthday. Woo I'm going to be very old. <laughs> so right now I think we're gonna throw on a record and relax and just enjoy the rest of the evening. And we will see you guys on Ruth's birthday. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Parthenon, which is a life-size replica of the real Parthenon in Greece. It is 11 o'clock, which is when this place is supposed to be closed. We're gonna try to get a quick picture with it before we get kicked out of here. Police officer drove by, but didn't say anything to us, so we got a couple photos in. Success. So we have come to before we got here, I was like, oh my gosh, we might see some celebrities. <laughs> and then I realized that I probably wouldn't recognize any country artist except maybe Taylor Swift. I mean, she's not even a country artist. You probably recognize Luke Bryan. I don't even know who that is. I've heard his name, but I don't know what he looks like. So if you guys see any celebrities in our video, let us know. <laughs> Wanna go there? They didn't capitalize it. I would have. Thomas just got back from the bathroom. You need to show him the crotch. <laughs> what is that? An incident. <laughs> we went to Dunkin' Donuts and ordered sandwiches for breakfast. Bad choice, also. And they Don't were recommend. Disgusting. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. And the egg, you could tell, was a frozen patty that they just slapped on the thing. And I held it up to my mouth. It just like started dripping the condensation from the freezer onto my lap. So I had to go wash it off. Gross. It was disgusting. That was an awful sandwich. That is a huge stain. 